Nikon's been teasing us about something new and different. Their campaign has been called Pure Photography, and today we learned what that means. We're talking about the Nikon DF. What's cool about the DF is that it looks and acts more like this than like this. The goal of the DF is to put the pure control of photography into your hands. I'm going to talk about the specifics of the hardware, then give you two perspectives. Ultimately, if this is something that you like or something you don't, it's up to you. Number one. This is an FX camera, same size sensor as 35 millimeter film. Second, it's a 16 megapixel sensor. On the upside, that should mean crisp low light, high ISO images. On the downside, you can squeeze more resolution out of a D600. That's not necessarily the goal here though. The goal is clean, crisp images, where you set the camera and make the adjustments with quite literally, your bare hands. Now, I'm not gonna talk about age here or how many children or grandchildren that one target market for this camera may have, but I will say that those who are accustomed to shooting with the film cameras of yore, such as the Nikon F3, FM, and earlier models, will be very much at home here. There's another target market though, all of us who want to take control over our photos see actual settings in a very physical form rather than relying on LCD screens. On the DF, if you want to see how your shutter speed is set or change the shutter speed, you reach right for the mechanical dial on the top of the camera. The other big deal here is compatibility. Do you have manual focus lenses, AI and pre-AI? They will work with this camera. It has the meter coupling lever for the older lenses. As a result, I think some drawers of old lenses are gonna get opened when this camera hits the market on November 28th. This camera takes an ENEL14A battery, which is a small one, but the goal here is still images. Turn the image review off, maybe have a spare battery or two handy, and shoot all day. This camera isn't for chimping your video. The goal here is to get the shot, then the next. In fact, you can do this at five and a half frames per second. That's not Nikon D4 speed, but you're also talking about a much less expensive camera that starts at under $3,000, including a vintage styled but fully modern 50 millimeter f1.8 lens. Okay, there's two ways to look at this. Perspective one, great camera, professional features of the past and the current day. Robust body, what you see on the top of the camera is what you get in terms of settings. You don't have to press one button and turn another wheel only to realize that you press the wrong button, have to change the setting back, and then find the right setting. With the DF, you can see the setting and physically put your hands on it. Need to change the ISO? Turn the wheel. Exposure compensation? Same thing. Shutter speed? You get the picture. These are features for someone who looks at the average DSLR and feels entirely too disconnected with the image capture process. Perspective two. A lot of money to spend on a camera that is matched or exceeded by several Nikon cameras that cost the same or less. The new D610 or the older D600 have higher resolution. The D610 has higher frames per second and those who are accustomed and happy with the push the button and turn the command dial interface, well they're not complaining. That said, many of us still look to get closer to the image capture process, and these current DSLRs let us shoot in manual mode, turn off image review, reconfigure the video button, and really get us to a clean interface that doesn't get in between us and the image. How do I feel? Here's what I do. I wait before I judge. What do I wait for? I wait to hold the camera, feel it, talk to it a little bit. If a strong connection grows between the user and camera, the photos will be better. That may mean fully manual control, or like me and my V1 here, it means setting the options that I want to control and leaving some of the others up to the camera. Others may want to control everything, leaving the camera to do a single job. Expose the sensor to light when asked. With this announcement, Nikon is doing something wonderful. They're giving you, the consumer, the power to choose which way you want to look at it. Some will scoff at this camera and view it as not enough features for the money. Others will say, Finally, I can get the distractions out of the way and get down to business. My site and many others will have much more to say about this camera as the holiday buying season approaches. In the meantime, let me know what you think.